tonight, a 17-month-old is dead and the parents are behind bars. New Orleans police say the toddler was found yesterday with burns and bruises. The parents, Johanna Barnum and Donnell Williams, were identified as suspects and taken into custody on charges of cruelty to a juvenile. WDSU reporter Elizabeth Kubel joins us now live from Algiers with the latest details. Elizabeth. Yes, and Gina, this is where police say that child was found. This is the Forest Park apartment complex, and neighbors that live here are so saddened and shocked by the discovery. I was really sad and kind of hurt because it was a little baby. You know, really didn't get a chance to life, you know, to live really none of his life, you know, and left so early, you know, so I mean, it, it really was a sad day, you know. Hearts are heavy at this Algiers apartment complex with news circulating about the death of a 17 month old. It's heartbreaking, it is, because we in an area that's poverty, something always bad happening here. People lose their lives, they get shot, gunned down. And we have a security guard thing, so it's not going to get better. It's only going to get better when this whole system has to change. God has to intervene. That's the only way I can explain it. Police say the young child was found unresponsive with burns and bruises on its body on Wednesday. One neighbor who didn't want to be identified told us about the scene he saw. Well, I saw the, um, the police come, then the ambulance, then the, um, the corner people, you know, come and pronounce the dead and stuff. So I'll take out the house, you know, a lot of people crying and shouting, you know, having a bad time, you know. The child's parents, Jonna Barnum and Donnell Williams, now face one count each of second degree cruelty to a juvenile. And back here live now at the apartment complex, you are taking a live look right here at some stuffed teddy bears that neighbors have dropped off here at the scene. It is also worth noting that police say additional charges are possible as their investigation continues. Reporting live in Algiers, I'm Elizabeth Kubel, WDSU News.